Welcome to today's lecture on Community Considerations for Environmental Appraisal. My name is Danielle Fopp and I will be taking you through this lecture today. Environmental Appraisal, the risks. So we've touched on this throughout each lecture so far. We've got the so social opposition to the environmental impact, we've got public inquiries and legal demands on the environmental standards. And in this topic, we are going to be looking at the social opposition to the environmental impact of the project. We are also going to be touching on public inquiries, and this topic is closely linked to stakeholder engagement. Community and stakeholder consultation. What are we looking to follow through this process? Well, we need to agree on the engagement objectives. What are you looking to achieve from the engagement? You need to identify the key stakeholders for the project, and the key stakeholders will vary with each project. They will not be the same. They may be variations of the same types of groups, but for each project, it's important that you identify key stakeholders so that when you conduct your consultation, you're not missing anyone out. You also need to utilise a range of appropriate consultation and engagement tools, which we will be looking into going forwards. Following the consultation, it's really important that you then respond to issues raised during it. So it's not enough to agree on the engagement, identify the stakeholders, talk at them and not care. We need to be utilising these communication and engagement tools to understand what the stakeholder issues are and respond to them. So responding is key. We will then be integrating the outcomes and recommendations into the EIS and project. So do not underestimate the power of community and stakeholder in your project. And we also then need to plan for any future consultation which may be required. And this again will vary depending on the project and how large the project is. Some very large construction projects require many months of consultation with multiple visits and multiple approaches. So then there'd be an engagement outcomes report and you're not required to create one of these for this course but you need to know it exists and what's in it. So the purpose of this report is to document the results of the stakeholder and community engagement undertaken for the proposal to date as well as to provide an outline of future engagements proposed. This report supports the environmental impact statement for the proposal. Now the report can be structured various ways, but it's generally comprised of the following sections. So you have approach to consultation, which is a summary of the objectives and methods of engagement used. You have communication and promotional activities summarising the communication and activities undertaken. You then have uh, the consultation summary, which is the key outcomes of engagement undertaken to date and also next steps, which describes the next steps proposed for future engagement. Now you may or may not be required to compose this report as part of your appraisal in industry. It really comes down to what the client would like to see in terms of deliverables.